Welcome to my video where I thought I'd continue off my impressions video of comparison between the cardboard VRs and the Gear VR headset. I thought I'd make somewhat of a continuing video series on my impressions of the different aspects of the Gear VR headset. First, I actually want to start with Oculus Cinema, which is my primary app that I use when I use a VR headset. Uh, watching movies in Oculus Cinema is something that you just have to experience. I've been watching every movie that I own in it, uh, new content, TV shows. So this is the main menu for Oculus Cinema. It's a full 3D environment. Somewhere near a planet. I'm not sure if that's Saturn. Saturn has bigger rings than that. It's probably Uranus or something like that. I can't be too sure. It's almost like a Universal Studios in space. So, this is the main menu. You can flick through pre-installed trailers. You can also select from your own movies. For this example, I will just choose... Avengers and it throws you into an immersive photorealistic 3d environment like when I look at this chair it's like that chair is literally right next to me in my face I feel like I could put a drink in that holster right there I've actually found when I'm getting caught up in the movie while the movie is playing that I've actually tried to put my feet up uh, which is funny because I watched another YouTube channel uh, Richie's room and immediately when he said that in his video I laughed myself because I had done the exact same thing you actually feel like you can put your feet up on that chair and then you go to put your legs down and it's just air and you lose your balance for a second so this is the movie cinema uh, I prefer to watch movies here because if I hit play real quick and hit resume it's pretty much an IMAX-like experience, a giant screen, uh, full 3D effects. Um, if you notice in this video, there's a video on the left and on the right. It's because it's not one single image. They project an image to each lens, each eye, um, basically giving you the perception that you're actually in the world. And it also allows for 3D. Right. Also, if you notice, the theater dims when you're watching a movie, and the light actually reflects. So it actually looks like you're in a theater where the light source is changing. Now, there are some other theaters, such as the home theater. If you are a multi-millionaire, or somebody doing way better off than myself, you might have one of these in your home. Again, you have a projector in the back. It actually looks like I am sitting in this seat. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Playing it on this, if you don't like the IMAX experience, sometimes when I watch TV shows, I will use this instead of the cinema. Now, moving on, there's a third one, which is the moon. So you're... Literally on the surface of the moon, next to the lunar lander. You have popcorn here, although if you were on the moon, I don't know how you'd eat it, because you would most likely be wearing a spacesuit, which would not let you be able to eat that. All of the power source is actually coming from the lunar lander. There's Earth, the sun over there. I also find it funny that when you select a movie, it actually dims the sun. Select the movie, and the sun has been dimmed. Space magic. It's the explanation for everything. The final movie theater is the Void Theater, which places you in an empty void. Basically, what this allows you to do is you can reorient the screen in any place that you want. So if I hit play, and I want to lay down in my bed, 
I tap my screen, and the video's on the ceiling. Same if I want to lay my head on the bed sideways, no matter where I look, I can reorient the screen. And if you don't want the distraction of the cinema around you, you just want to view the movie and be immersed in the movie, you go. You can go ahead and do that as well. Currently, the Innovate Edition of the Gear headset does not have a paid store, which will be coming soon for when it is a commercial product, which means they've released the kit to build your own theater already. So I mean, I imagine when the store actually comes out, we're going to have tons of people putting out some fantastic quality theaters as well as, some, I'd assume, some crap quality theaters as well. But imagine Go Show from Cardboard will be brought up to this as well, but I don't know how it could even come close to comparing to this theater. Another random thought before I actually end the video is to say I sent a random message to John Carmack on Twitter, who is the creator of this device I'm wearing, the Gear VR headset, also part of the main team behind the Oculus Rift. I asked him, in the future, would a future Gear VR headset be able to be tethered or have a cord come out of the headset and plug into the computer? If you know how an Oculus Rift works, how this headset works, an Oculus Rift is the PC version of this, and what the PC version has in it is a Note 3 screen. This is a Note 4. Now, it uses the Note 3 with no aspect of a phone to just dis display a screen while connected to a computer. And I asked him, is it possible to just shut down all features of the phone, use this headset with the screen, and tether it to the computer, making it a Oculus Rift? Uh, he actually responded to me, to my surprise, and he told me he actually he said it's doable, and he suggested it to his colleagues, but it was not quote unquote met with an enthusiasm. And I kind of understand why. Why make one product when you can make two and have people buy both? But I feel like in the coming years, this is where VR is headed. You're eventually going to have one device that does both things. Because who doesn't want uh, to play a video game on your computer with your headset and then you have to go travel somewhere. You pack up your headset, bring it with you, and use the phone aspect on the go. So that's what I'm waiting for. I'm going to be honest, as much as I love this headset, I said it's the coolest thing I've bought since my car. It's a fantastic headset. I use it daily for watching movies. It seems like every night this week, I've sat down in my bed or in a chair and watched a movie or two in it. It's completely comfortable, does not hurt your face to wear. But uh, my next purchase is probably going to be an Oculus Rift and for PC gaming. Even with the addition of forward and backward and side-to-side -side movements, I don't see much need for those movements when all I will probably be using this as is a media device. So, I'd like to get the companion Oculus Rift. So I'd like to say thank you for watching my video, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.